is Stuart Brazier, and I'm going to introduce using Google Motion Charts to analyze price and volume data of a security. And for the purpose of this exercise, we're going to analyze the four cues. Before analyzing the four cues, what I'm going to do is give you a very brief overview on the layout of Google Motion Charts. On the left hand side, we have price axis. At the bottom of the chart, we have the volume axis. And below the volume axis, we have the timeline. On the far left, you can see a play button, which turns into a pause. And on the right hand side, you see 2491. That represents the number of trading days we're going to analyze. You see the box is pointing at a little circle. That circle represents price and volume. As price increases, the circle will move up. As price decreases, the circle will move down. And as the volume of trades increases for every day, the circle will move to the right, and as it decreases, it will move to the left. But not only that, it will also grow and diminish in size based on volume. So in this instance over here, we see that volume is not particularly significant. And over here, we see that the circle is somewhat bigger to represent larger volume, but you also notice the color has changed. This is because each circle is color coded to represent the volume. So a uh, high volume day would represent, um, would be colored in this instance orange to show around about 250 million shares traded. A red circle would show up to 300 million. And as we saw earlier on, the little blue circle represents lower volume. So now we know what uh, the layout is all about, we can start analyzing the four cues. Google motion charts can be analyzed in two ways. And the first way we're going to look at it is day by day. As the name implies, day by day means looking at a securities price and volume day by day. And, uh, because we're looking at 2,000 plus days, the circle tends to move very, very quickly. But it gives us a very good overview as to what's actually happening. Um, we can see the volume moving backwards and forwards, left to right, and we can see price moving upwards and downwards. In this way, we can get a feel for what the stock's doing. But in isolation, looking at a stock's price on a day-by-day -day basis is not very practical or useful. To do that, we best look at the second form of analysis. The second and more interesting way of looking at price and volume data is the trails view. There's a lot more interest in, uh, especially to traders, because we see a trail of activity. And uh, by looking at that trail, we can detect patterns. And what we see here is a um, consistent left to right motion of uh, volume, and it's moving up and down within a trading range. And now we see that that trading range has broken through, and there's a lot more momentum hidden downwards on a lot stronger volume. Uh, you can see that the, there's a lot more volume on the right hand side, and this is particularly uh, noticeable on the uh, all the way through to 300 million shares trading a day. So, what we're looking at here is probably a climatic bottom. Uh, however, if you have a look at the wedge shape of the circles moving up over the $100 level, you can see that they're uh, diminishing in volume. So that price rise was certainly not taking place on significant volume. This indicates that it would be a um, corrective move on a stronger downward impulse. So uh, uh, the interesting thing over here is the color coding, the size of the circle, and the movement to give an indication as to what's happening. So Google Motion Charts is a great tool to get us certainly a different perspective and a different perspective to what other traders are getting. So I hope this has been interesting and informative and uh, please feel free to contact me at Trader6 if you have any questions.